Like, come on, seriously, you knew I had to put that in. So, dudes, it's your boy Asian Psycho, aka Toast Diaper 98, and we're back with another twofer. This time, we're taking a really, really, really good look at FGO's resident literal meme. Something regarding all women's being queens and such? May. Med. Yeah. Med. Med. B? Cajun B? Rush B? Drombeg Mead is a five-star writer who, like her Dino Boy toy, debuted with the America Singularity as a story-locked SSR. Despite what her character's like, she's actually a multi-utility writer who's got self-sustained support skills and potentially high damage output thanks to her MP's overcharge. Along with Best Eggplant, she's also one of the first two servants in the game to receive a seasonal costume that turns her into a prison warden, which is indicative of her role during the Summer 2 event. They don't make costumes like they used to, that's for sure. And while y'all degenerate motherfuckers might get all thirsty and shit just by looking at her midriff, I'll be in my corner over here shivering from my PTSD of getting wrecked by the warden on the Alcatraz zombie maps. Where's my fucking Tommy gun, goddammit? Avril Lavigne fangirl became the main antagonist of the American Singularity, or one of anyway, because over at the DW headquarters, that's basically five cardboard boxes stacked up because all their employees spent their entire paychecks on the gotcha, their script writers were researching the Irish potato famine and then somehow misinterpreted that Maeve wanting to come over to visit her Canadian girlfriend and then deciding that America had better farmland for potatoes and stayed to fuck shit up. Uh, excuse me, we don't grow fucking tater tots here. We grow wheat in the Midwest, corn and tamales in the deep south, weed in Colorado, and Teslas and electric space rockets in California, courtesy of our boy Elon Musk. What do you mean Idaho exists? Sounds like Maeve's kind of state to be honest. Teenage drama queen isn't quite as broken as M4 14 is in her own game, but she's still pretty good because of the utility of her kit. Her first skill gives her debuff immunity, HP regen, and charge gain for 3 turns, providing her the sustain that she's known for. Of special mention is her 3 turn debuff immunity, which is especially powerful given that most debuff immunity effects last for only 1 turn, or last 1 time, or 3 times, or something. In Maeve's case, as soon as you pop this skill, as long as it doesn't get removed, she has 3 turns where she doesn't need to worry about getting debuffed. This is great for fights like challenge quests or story fights that like to spam debuffs at you. Just remember to cast it before you start getting debuffed. The HP regen and free MP charge are nice too. Now her second skill is what brings all the boys to the yard, and it's her charisma. After its buff, it turns into a conditional charisma that double buffs the attack of all the guys in the front line with her, similar to those of Hungarian Idol Snake and Evil Boomer. This makes her a great support for any male DPS you plan to use, especially if they have buffs, color buffs in particular, of their own. And to add to her support utility, her third skill post buff has an 80% anti-male charm and a 1 turn 30% defense debuff, which still applies even if the enemy isn't a guy. The charm is nice when it works, and the 30% defense debuff is really good, but it's a lot to lose because both effects are only for one turn, and the skill itself has a long cooldown of 9-7 to seven turns so it's a skill that you have to use wisely to get the most contextual benefit. Her passives are pretty standard, just Magic Resist B and Riding A. I'm actually surprised her riding skill isn't EX with how much she wants to ride Dino Boy all the time. Marilyn Monroe's MP, however, is far from standard, both mechanically and visually. It's a busted single target MP that has super effective damage against, you guessed it, guys. Because if her milkshakes don't bring you to the yard, not that she had much to begin with, she'll take the yard to you. I'd make one of those in Russia jokes, but that wouldn't work here because Maeve's Irish. This gives her a specialized niche as an anti-caster, berserker, and even beast rider so long as she's fucking guys. While her default attack rating is very low for an SSR, the fact that her anti-male damage is an MP overcharge effect means that she's still gonna do hella damage if you buff stack her, which is what I did to get the top score in the FGO challenge stage thing during Anime Expo. So in case you were rolling through story and you came across some dumbass named Solomon or some idiot who looks like a damn tree branch, Thought Queen should be among the first ones to come to mind when thinking about who'd be the best to deal with them. With all this in mind, Sendai's ideal fight is a challenge quest where the boss, or one of the bosses is a male caster, and she's got a male DPS to back her up. Her kit gives her room to not worry about debuffs for 3 turns, self heals, free 30% MP charge in total, an attack buff for herself and your male DPS, a charm and a 30% defense debuff, and a super effective mod against males, all of which are very good effects to have going into an endgame fight. She also has good MP gen naturally thanks to her 0.86% charge rate, 2 arts cards, and the 30% charge from her first skill so that she can get her MP reasonably quickly, which, especially after its buff, where 
it has a base 20% reduction in mental debuff resist at level 1, is designed for Maeve to immediately cast her charm afterwards for the best success at charming her target. And while you might think that this is a waste to charm an enemy after Maeve uses her MP, you can take advantage of this anyway by having your male DPS have their own MP ready after Maeve uses hers, so that way he's got Maeve's charisma and defense debuff to give him more damage, and the enemy's charm so they can't do anything on that turn anyway. She's not bad as a face card farmer too, in case you need to bring along an anti-male single target rider somewhere in an event, since she has good MP charge rate, and has a near automata deck for balanced MP charge and damage output, and and has an attack buff and defense debuff for party support and utility. In fact, I remember one of our first setups that we had to farm the Heart Node in the Da Vinci event involved Thought Queen getting 50% charge with Waver's buffs and her own charge to kill the enemy Waver in Wave 3. However, all this being said, Scotty's girlfriend is not designed to be a first round draft pick Zion Williamson to the Pelicans and then start the season with a 68 week injury rider for any circumstance. Rather, perhaps true to her nature, she's only meant to be used for the situations that she excels it, and her low attack rating means that she's not that great for general use. Now suddenly it makes sense why Maeve always made Ku Alter go out and fight while she sat back with the Pina Colada in the America Singularity. But if you insist on using her as your main rider, or one of, giving her a strong male DPS partner other than yourself is probably the best thing you can do so that her double charisma can be used effectively, and even better if they have some sort of utility of their own that can also help Maeve in return. As mentioned in the Ku Alter video, Dino Boy unironically makes a good partner for her for this reason. Another choice that's a bit more unorthodox is Sitman. His evade has the problem of having an attack buff tied to it, and sometimes you'll run into the hard choice of having to choose between the two effects, so with Maeve he doesn't need to worry as much about losing out on his evade's attack buff because Maeve will more than make up for it. And in return, Sitman can nuke an enemy's damage output with his attack debuffs, and thereby protect both himself and Maeve from taking as much damage. As for CEs, Daoko doesn't terribly need damage CE since her attack rating is already pretty low to begin with, unless of course you want her to fuck over a male enemy somewhere. So with that exception, you could give her a sustain CE that gives her extra HP regen, or extra defense that helps her last a bit longer on the field. Not that she needed help to last a long time anyway. Just don't give her 2030 because she's a writer and she's gonna be sucking all those stars back to herself anyway, and you bet your ass she gives that good suck. Rather, you can give her a crit damage CE if you want her to have more of a DPS role. Just remember to give her either a star gen or some 2030s on her teammates, not herself. In fact, Maeve's one of the few cases where I can kind of see an argument for using her bond CE, which gives the party 15% extra MP gen while she's got it on and is on the field. This is strictly for times when Maeve is acting as a dedicated support, obviously, and while it would have been better if she gave the party like extra buster damage or something, it's still kind of a big brain 200 IQ sort of thing if you're into that. So in summary, Lactose Intolerant Thought is a surprisingly flexible rider who can duke it out in regular fights and in certain challenge quests alike, and can absolutely fuck over male enemies both figuratively and literally. She's quite fittingly the Cadillac of male attack buffers due to her SSR stat Status, but you should definitely put her to use if you have her and you have her charisma leveled up. If you're a fan of drama queens, thoughts, Irish women, Ayaneru, Nakanonino, or any of the above, consider picking up your very own thought queen at her next raid up. Or if you're really degenerate, as you should be for liking someone like this, go roll story with a bottle of Celtic honey and an Irish national anthem playing in the background. And shoutouts to the Hamster Squad for convincing DW to give us Maeve's animation update early. And that's all you need to know about Thought! Thanks for watching! Make sure to check out the Ku Alter video that I made before this in case you haven't already. Next video will be on Abigail, since I figured y'all need something to watch while you're sitting in jail. Deuces! Balcony, 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 balcony.